Okay, hello friends. Welcome to another video in the Take Better Photos channel. I'm going to be talking about layers in Pixelmator Pro. Layers are one of the most important features when you want to retouch a photo. If you watch my video on the top five raw photo editors, you're going to find out that all the top five support layers. So what I want to do is to have a overview of what layers are and how to use layers in Pixelmator Pro. This video follows a previous video I did on layers with Affinity Photo. So this will be a nice way to compare and contrast Pixelmator. And I'll talk about what is the advantages or disadvantages of using uh, Pixelmator over Affinity Photo as well towards the end of this video. All right, let's get started with uh, just creating a new layout here. And we're just going to have, let's just have this image as something with 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. All right, so there it is. So as you can see from at the beginning, it already has what you call a background layer attached to it, okay? And so just like in Affinity Photo, you know, you could uh, paint on it. What we're gonna do is same with the Affinity Photo video, I'm gonna merge a few photos together and then we're going to learn some of the concepts. Okay, so let's just open some of the files here. Click open to this. Okay, so let me just go ahead and copy these images here. right so there we have it out of the box i'm going to say uh, one of the nice things that pixelmator supports is raw layers so i just wanted to show you that this is the case by actually importing this raw image and so just to show you that this is a raw image you can see that i do have the dynamic range from the raw image even though this is a layer okay how about an affinity photo isn't it the same thing so what we're going to do is let's open the same thing in affinity photo Okay, so if you're going to edit actually a raw in Affinity, so you can see here, I'm in the developer zone. This is the tool used by Affinity in order to edit raw. Okay, so you can see as I edit the exposure here, it's it's similar to the way Pixelmator does it. But as I go to the layers based mode, which is in the photo persona, see now it's a layer and I do the same thing. It doesn't treat it as a raw okay so that's how you actually know without any indication that it is being able to handle the raw image so that's a big advantage of pixelmator over affinity all right when you're doing something like retouching of uh, raw images uh, just to share with you that capability you no know? so i hope affinity does improve that in the future here i've imported three images here okay so you can see the way i do it is just simply i just copy and paste the various uh, images here and just put it in it's pretty simple pretty straightforward and so let's just create an image here as with any uh, photo editor you, you can move the layer simply by dragging it so i'm just going to move this bird to the top and as you can see it covers or obscures the rest of the images the image at the top will be in the foreground you can see this if you reduce the opacity below see can reduce the opacity like this you can also hide it or unhide it by clicking this eye icon here or eye button see that's hiding and unhiding you can also lock the layer as you can see here and then you cannot move it all right so that is basically locking the layer i don't really use this as much but um, it's available you can also rename the layer here like so so that if you have a very complicated edit you won't lose track i've changed the name of the layer to bird you can also resize using this okay this is called the arrange tool you can just resize it like so usually with layers what you want to do is you want to make certain parts of the layer transparent so that the bottom images will show through the best way to do that is not to use the erase tool even though you could use the erase tool here or you can press e for the erase tool right and you can erase the whole thing like that but that will that's actually what you call a destructive adjustment because you're working directly on the image what you want is to erase it without working directly on the image and that's the non-destructive adjustment so what you want to do is to create a mask in affinity photo this type of layer is called a mask layer in pixelmator pro it's called a layer mask all right but it does the same thing so all you have to do is just right click here and then just click add mask and that will create something like a layer as well. 
By the way, if you want to change the sizes of this, even though I don't recommend it, but just to know that you have the option, you can actually change this to thumbnails if you wish. All right. But uh, I find it less intuitive than just using the thumbnail, thumbnail version. So you just go into layers here and then just choose list. That's my preferred configuration. So once you have the mask here, uh, what you can do is you can actually paint over it either black or white, some shade of between pure black and pure white. White, as you can see here, makes the entire image opaque. The bottom layers will not show through. Whereas if you paint black, then uh, you make those portions transparent from here. So this is already black, so you can see that it will make the image transparent. That's a little bit inconvenient to do. So an easier way to create the mask is simply to just use the selection tool. So I believe Q is quick selection, right? You tap Q, quick selection. Or you can just choose this tool right here, right? And just choose quick selection. And just click, I'm just going to use add here. Pixelmator Pro is a very nice selection tool interface, which works pretty accurately. Okay, so in Pixelmator Pro, the ones you select will be made transparent. Uh, let's see this in action, right? So if I click Add Mask here, so as you can see, as I made the selection, the selected parts will uh, remain opaque while the unselected parts will become transparent. So that's a much easier way to create the mask. Unlike in Affinity Photo where they have adjustment layers, meaning you can apply uh, adjustments uh, non-destructively. Pixelmator does not support adjustment layers. So you can just make the adjustments directly on the image itself. So we're just going to go straight to this color adjustments tool here. All right. And then let's just adjust the, the brightness of this. Make it a little bit darker here. Make the shadows a little bit darker. All right. So for this uh, sky here, let's just move this a little bit. Let's just move this. And uh, we're going to add this a bigger moon to make it more dramatic okay so we're going to just add, position this thing and same thing we want to get rid of this black background so what do we do just do use press q for the quick selection tool and just select on the moon itself right and then just right click and then add mask there you go so it works in similar way to uh, Affinity Photos, but you can be the judge which one you find more, uh, oops, more useful. I want this exposure to be a little bit more vibrant, so I'm just gonna do make that a little bit brighter here. Okay, so I think I, I would want this bird to be a bit bluer, so I'm just gonna reduce the temperature for the bird here. Let me just change the sky to make it a bit bluer. There you go. Okay. So that's basically layers in uh, Pixelmator. Now other types of layers that you could actually use with Pixelmator. There is a text layer here. Right. So if I want to add text here, right, assuming this, let's say this is selected, you can click T here or this T icon here, or you can just press T on the keyboard. Okay. Let's just have a normal text here. So we're going to just choose the normal type here and just uh, let's just choose here let's just press here night like so so that's another type of layer so these are basically vector layers right and of course you can change the colors of it and the like if you wish to so I guess that's basically it just to summarize or just to conclude what are the advantages and disadvantages of layers between Pixelmator and Affinity Photo so I would say that the interface of Pixelmator is a big advantage. It's a lot easier to understand than Affinity Photos. Um, its support for raw layers is really useful because the layers itself has the full dynamic range. However, its disadvantage is it does not support adjustment layers or the live filters. You know? And these are re really powerful things Affinity Photo does. So you're much more limited with Pixelmator in terms of its, its layer features. But yeah, that those are my thoughts on that. Uh, you may agree or disagree. I'd like to hear from you. Just put it down in the comments below. And if you'd like to help keep the videos coming, please like and subscribe. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye for now.